Hi, this is Troy Dreyer, the Senior Associate Editor for StreamingMedia.com, coming to you from the red carpet at Streaming Media East in New York City. I'm joined today by our special guest from iStream Planet. Why don't you introduce yourself and tell me a little bit about iStream Planet. Thank you, Troy. I'm Mia Babic, uh, President and CEO of iStream Planet. iStream Planet is a leader in, in uh, live, live linear and on-demand video platform solutions. Uh, we enable our content partners distributors and content aggregators to distribute their content efficiently and securely across a multitude of devices. Um, last year we closed our first Series A funding led by Intel Capital, also joined by Turner Broadcasting and our European data center partner Interaction. Very good. Well, how is 2012 shaping up for iStream Planet? Well, we kicked off 2012 with the history-making um, achievement by uh, streaming Super Bowl for first time live online across multi multitude of devices. It was a most remar remarkable experience for us and we have uh, then continued and done some other very interesting things. We brought um, multi-camera angle experiences to Kentucky Derby as well as the Super Bowl. We brought in um, uh, 60 hertz video to the Xbox, 720p 60 hertz video to the Xbox. Um, and we're seeing just amazing uh, continuing growth in uh, online uh, video consumption and our customers are coming back to us and demanding more and more contact, faster, faster turnaround times. Um, so we're, we're very much excited about uh, the, all the opportunities that we're seeing uh, in the market grow. What are uh, some of the biggest trends you see in the world of online video? Over the last 12 months, we've seen a, a doubling in, in amount of time that consumers are consuming the content, average amount of viewing time. We've seen a doubling in a bit rate or quality uh, of the consumption as well as the, the doubling on, of the average amount of viewers uh, viewing our content across multiple devices. What's the biggest challenge you see facing our industry? The biggest challenge is you know, how do we scale the, the current systems and workflows. Today the workflows are really built on uh, a, a, a bunch of disparate systems and uh, you know, in an attempt to they, they, they sort of work together to create these complex experiences. Unfortunately when you go from uh, you know, a several live events to uh, to uh, you know a tens of hundreds of concurrent live events, or if you're going from you know a, a ten or twenty linear channels and trying to stand up you know a thousands of linear channels, um, th the cost and the complexity of doing that is is you know uh, one of the biggest challenges that, that that we're seeing. I mean, we're certainly hitting the wall, um, and and our customers are coming back to us and saying we need a faster turnaround times. We need more channels online, and then how do you do this dynamically? If um, today you need a, you know, 30 to 50 channels, but you know, 30 days from now you need 100 channels, uh, leveraging existing hardware and a bunch of disparate systems that are sort of put together to, to enable this workflow today, it's, it's very complex, it's error prone, and uh, it's cost prohibitive. So really finding a solution how to scale dynamically up and down based on, based on uh, you know, the customer needs and do that at a lower cost with the more reliability and ability to control the entire process, the entire pipeline, the entire video workflow pipeline needs to be monitored properly. So we know that something is wrong. It's, it's uh, you know, the key challenge that we see it and that we're certainly investing our time and resources in. Hmm. Tell us about some innovative scenarios that your company's working on. Uh, but two key, two key innovative scenarios we're working on is uh, around the scalability and around uh, creating a seamless experience across multiple devices. Uh, we talked a little bit about you know, the, the challenges of how do you scale you know, to a large number of linear channels and current live events or how to quickly can you transcode a vast amount of content. And more and more content obviously is coming online. Uh, and you know, the, the innovating around you know, leveraging the cloud or leveraging virtualization and um, designing the new workflow systems to work uh, together coherently. Uh, so you can track the entire pipeline in, in, in one seamless workflow instead of uh, having a multiple things that sort of attempt to work together is uh, something that we're focusing around as well as you know, delivering to multiple devices and creating this you know, immersive and, and seamless experience across all these IP connected devices. Um, it, it doesn't only depend on the formats and sort of screen resolutions, it also requires solving issues with metadata, you know, your 10-foot experience is much different than your you know, iPhone, if you're watching something on iPhone, uh, the rights management, 
uh, you know, if, you, if you're uh, 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 integrating a, a multiple authentication system, so you need to be able to authenticate properly across these devices and make this very seamless. So it's some of the, some of the things that we're focusing on um, and uh, don't worry, obviously investing all our resources into it over the next 12 to 18 months. Hmm. So what's the next big thing for iStream Planet? Creating a new, new sets of workflow products that allow us to scale dynamically, enable our customers to, you know, to digitize and distribute their content seamlessly across these devices at much, you know, a much lower cost. And do that with a dynamic approach where uh, FX amount of resources is need, needed one day, that's what they consume and that's what they pay for. And if it needs to move to a, a different sets of resources or scale up and down, they have ability to do that dynamically. And, and the secondly is, uh, again, creating that really seamless experience and, uh, and you know, also innovating, innovating around all these new devices, right? If we just replicate the basic television experience on, on, on your iPad or your, on your Xbox or you, you know, on your Roku experience, you're creating another you know, a sort of television experience. You're not leveraging all these new technologies, inherent capabilities built into these devices. So we're, we're certainly excited about the all opportunities uh, around leveraging these new devices and technologies built into these devices and some technologies that we're building to, to create uh, a next, next generation of experience not seen today. And you know, bringing that innovation, that level of innovation to our customers and creating that best level of experience is the reason why we exist today and why we're very excited about the future. Very good. Well, thank you for joining me, Mio. This is Troy Dreyer coming to you from the red carpet.